I have been studying how I may compare this prison where I live unto the world and for because the world is populous and here is not a creature but myself, I cannot do it yet. I'll hammer it out. My brain, I'll prove the female to my soul. My soul, the father, and these two beget a generation of still breeding thoughts, and these same thoughts people this little world and humors like the people of this world, for no thought is contented. The better sort is thoughts of things divine are intermixed with scruples and to set the word itself against the word as thus, come little ones. And then again, it is as hard to come as for a camel to thread the posture of a small needle's eye. Thoughts tending to ambition, they do plot unlikely wonders how these vain, weak nails may tear a passage through the flinty ribs of this hard world, my ragged prison walls, and for they cannot die in their own pride. Thoughts tending to content flatter themselves that they are not the first of fortune's slaves, nor shall not be the last. Like seely beggars who, sitting in the stocks, refuge their shame that many have and others must sit there. And in this thought they find a kind of ease, bearing their own misfortunes on the back of such as have before endured the like. Thus play I in one person many people and none contented. Sometimes am I king, then Treasons make me wish myself a beggar. And so I am. Then crushing penury persuades me I was better when a king. Then am I kinged again, and by and by think that I am unkinged. By bowling brook constrain him nothing. But whate'er I be, nor I, nor any man that but man is, with nothing shall be pleased till he be eased with being nothing. Music do I hear. Oh, 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 keep time. How sour sweet music sounds when time is broke and no proportion kept. So is it in the music of men's lives. And here have I the daintiness of ear to check time broke in a disordered string, but for the conquered of my state in time, had not any air to hear my true time broke. I wasted time, and now doth time waste me. For now hath time made me his numbering clock. My thoughts are minutes, and with sighs they jar their watches on unto mine eyes, the outward watch, whereto my finger, like a dial's point, is pointing still and cleansing them from tears. Now, sir, the sound that tells what hour it is are clamorous groans which strike upon my heart, which is the bell. So sighs and tears and groans show minutes, times and hours. But my time runs posting on in Bolingbroke's proud joy while I stand fooling here as Jack of the Clock. This music mads me, let it sound no more. For though it hath hoped madmen to their wits in me, it seems it will make wise men mad. Yet blessings on his heart that gives it me. For tis a sign of love, and love to Richard is a strange brooch in this all-hating world.